Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. This is going to be the fourth video in the MCP playlist, Model Context Protocol playlist. We already have created three videos prior to this. In the first video, we introduced MCP, covered the theoretical aspect, the architecture, fundamentals, so on and so forth. In the second video, we created a simple MCP server and use that through mcp client uh, in that case it was anthropic plot in the third video we used an external api uh, you know that can uh, scrap linkedin profiles and bring the data in uh, we created that mcp server and use that through cloud as well cloud for desktop now in this fourth video we are going to see how we can use mcp server in uh, modern day, modern days AI based IDEs like cursor, windsurf, etc. So we're gonna use windsurf. You know that's a, uh, uh, that's an IDE. That's an amazing IDE, by the way, where you can you know you you can create applications, you can uh, create programs that can that is powered by AI agents and that can do almost everything for you. You know, it's good for building prototypes and MVP and not that good for, you know, working with complex existing code bases. Now we're going to use MCP server in Windsor. We're going to configure by, you know, just writing a few lines of JSON code. And then we'll see how we can connect that with Supabase. You know, so if you don't know Supabase, it's, a, it's an open source Firebase alternative. You know, so we're going to use Supabase to, because I have some data on Supabase. I'll see how we can, you know, build an MCP server that connects with that Supabase and look at some tables and that can do some kind of analysis for you and everything that can happen in the winds of editor. So let's see how we can do that. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I'm showing you how you can download Windsurf. It's free to use, of course, with some limitations. Uh, it's, they have premium as well. Now, but mostly you can try it out for hobby projects. You can, if you come down, they have something called download here. You see here, uh, it said download. When you click on download, it says IDE build to keep you in flow state. Invaluable AI developer assistant where you want it, when you want it, blah, blah, blah. You download it. I already have downloaded it. So let me just go here and show you. You can see this is how it looks like. Very similar to VS code if I just get rid of this cascade. Now, exactly how VS Code looks like, right? You can see this. You have the file uh, file uh, sidebar where you have file preview, explorer, you have search, you have your source control, you have your, all of other features, same like VS Code. Now they have something called cascade. Now if you click on this or you can click control L, it will open the cascade. It says, it basically just see this like how chat GPT has been integrated into an IDE kind of a setup. Okay, and now here, you can select multiple models. You can see I have, this is my premium account, but you can see I have Claude 3.5, GPT-40, these, all these models, even it will be available for you as well. Uh, you have non-premium as well and stuff, but you know, they give you some 50 uh, credits to try it out. Now we have this where you can ask uh, questions and whatever, right? Now, e this is how it will look like for you. If you commit here for the first time, now I want to create an MCP server. You can see it says zero available MCP server. It says MCP grants cascade access to custom tools. Now, if you want to build some custom tools and use that within uh, Windsurf or Cursor or anything, this is how you can do that, right? Now, if you look at this tool icon, very similar to you, you see the you see the tool icon within Claude for desktop as well. You have to click on configure MCP. The moment you click on configure MCP, it should show you a GitHub thingy here. And if you click on this, it's so an example that how you can give your GitHub personal access token and it will start fetching all your repos and you can do everything. It shows you a simple example over here. Now, I already have something. So I'm just going to, you know, copy this and uh, copy this and basically come back here and explain that, paste it. Now, if you look at here, very simple, right? Uh, the same way you can also configure it on Claude for desktop. You have to go in that config file. Now here I have an MCP server or definition. Uh, NPX, you should have node installed on your system. Make sure you have node installed. Uh, and we have so far worked with UVs or pip, whatever, because we we, we shown that with uh, Python. Now here, in that you see an argument and we are uh, giving this model context protocol. We're using server Postgres. This is the this is the thing that we are using. 
we, it's already been built. You know, it's an MCP server that somebody has built and available for us to use it. It's called server Postgres. Now here we have to pass our uh, something I'll show you. So the idea here is to connect with Supabase, create a Supabase tool and start using it. So let me show that here. Okay. Now I'll come here. You can see I have, this is the dummy data. This is the synthetic data that I have. You can see this is the supabase.com dashboard, blah, 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 schema public. I have AI healthcare assistant data set. Here it says it has a unique identifier. You can see it's a primary key. It has assistant ID. It has a name. It has a specialization like Medibot, cardiology, AI vitals, neurology, neurogpt, neurology, blah, blah, blah. Hospital affiliation. You can see these are about chatbot data. It's a assistant bot that they have created. It has accuracy score, patient served so far, average response time, latency, uh, you know, deployment status, uh, you know, created at and the feedback score out of five. You can see it over here. Now, if I have to do something with this data through an, and I want to build a an tool and I want to use that as an MCP, through an MCP server, how can I do that, right? Now you have to click on connect. Of course, I'm going to delete this. If you click on this connect, it will show you your connection string. So I'm not going to, of course, show you that. So make sure you click on connect. Uh, the moment you click on connect, you know, it will give you that. Now this is what this is what this is where you have to paste it. I'll I'll show you. Of course, I'm gonna delete that. So I'm just gonna go here and just copy it. Of course, I'm going to delete this and come back and paste it here. And this is two. Now, if you look at what I'm doing here, okay, I have my this is this is you will get it from your connect here on Supabase. If you go back to Supabase, you know you can find out something called connect. When you click on connect, you can find out that is string. Okay, uh, you know over there. But you have to give your password of that database that you have created. So I have given a password. Of course, I'm going to delete this or later on. Uh, it's like just for this demo purpose. Now I just give that connection string over here, and I'm just going to save this. The moment you save it, you have to click on this refresh here. So if you come back uh refresh server the moment you refresh server you can find out it will it will take some time to get updated you know like you can see it says one super base tool now the super base tool is available if you look at this query it says run a read only sql query let's try it out so you can see i am using a model for like for example gpt 40 let's say right and here if i want to say okay let me just click this now and you can see i have i have no project over here let's say Please use Superbase tool or let's say MCP server to communicate and analyze the data. And you can see the data is over here, right? Analyze this data called AI healthcare assistant or whatever. Okay, so so we can just you know we can just let me let me click on this. It says copy name. So I just copy it. Come here and say and data from this table and let's see what happens now if you see it says generating right it says ran with this argument it says failed it seems the table does not exist in the database oh that's exciting uh, let's proceed to analyze the data from this table what is specific oh maybe it's case sensitive okay we'll see the next is in the database. Let's first verify the available tables in a database to ensure the table name is correct. I'll create the database to list all. Oh, does exist in this? <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but okay, that's fine because it wanted to run a query on that. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, what specific analysis or information would you like to obtain? Let's have a look at the database here, the data table, and what kind of analysis we can do. We can find out. Uh, let me see. Who has the let's say who has the highest feedback score? Or let's say create a Python project that can uh, that can analyze below highest feedback highest feedback score 
and if i go back let's say you know you have patient served so let's do that uh, accuracy score let's for example let's say accuracy score and you can see it says to create a python project the highest so let's start by now it will create a file it will create a virtual environment blah 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 and that's what it's gonna do if you look at here right and you can see it has now you have just say keep changes and you can see it has created a python file over here within windsurf right Create a python script the script connects to the web database and retrieve the highest feedback score and accuracy from the table to run the script you need to update the connection details in connect to db function with your actual web database credentials once updated you can exit i see if you look at here right uh you have your update with super base connection details i want you to use mcp tool super base to bring all the data in let's see what it does you can see it says i have successfully retrieved the data from the table now let's update the python script to include this data blah 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 it's gonna change it you have to give some time and let's come back here to this meanwhile what we can do is you can see i have kept it says it has retrieved sample data and what we can do is create maybe uvv env let's say and just gonna go go cd and dot excuse me i'm writing over there i have to write it here uh, cd dot vnv scripts dot okay scripts and dot slash activate cd dot dot cd dot dot and then uv add what do we have to add here i don't think anything do we have to add this i don't think we need that anymore we don't need it so let me just go back i want you to use the mcp tool to fetch all the data and create a chart that should show the distribution of feedback score something like that okay now mcp ran with this argument retrieve the feedback score you can see table let's create a chart to visualize the distribution it's gonna make some changes in the code because we don't need to connect right now with this because we are not directly fetching it we want the tool you know to help us run this query and get this in right we don't need to use uh, this library to use it so we should uh, rely on that uh, let me just say keep changes keep changes you can run the script to be the chart if you need further assistant. I have updated the uh, Python script to include a functional plot. Matplotlib. Let's say I add matplotlib. No pipe. Okay, so then we have to do uv. I think I didn't do pip inst. Uh, I didn't do init. So it did not create that. Now when I say uv pip install matplotlib, I can just do, and you can also say, uh it, it can also run it for you if you want okay now i'm gonna say uv run uh analyze it says import ah okay uv add try copy to ah i'm forgetting every time that i don't have I go G2 and it should now work.
and error connection database integer your port for connection option port oh okay now you can also say let me show you that so what we can also do is okay i change this model to cloud 3.7 and say look at the terminal and fix the error now it will look at your terminal and fix the error so we have been seeing about vibe coders you know but what about vibe debuggers you know <laughs> it's an error connected database the nc the error the script is trying to connect with database but encoding error with the connection parameters you put right see so it will get rid of that uh, specific function so now using windsurf for this kind of tool guys you do not have to like spend a lot of time you know uh, generating code or even you know debugging it can help you debug faster but it's good for building prototypes and those kind of thing but not that good for you know uh, working with like complex projects when you have existing code bases it might not work that good let me just do keep changes and now if you run this okay now that's fine you know it, it says okay let me let's now run it and see what happens when you run it you can see it gives you this score okay distribution of feedback scores this is how it looks like it has given here highest feedback score 4.89 by medibot general practice and 98.68 by ortho assist and how it worked guys that we have this data table here on supabase so you have this connect in this mcp tool so if you go back right uh, over here and uh you know if you see what how i did how we did it if you come back you know of, of course if you want to find out the errors you can say it does not exist but because it has to run a query so that is fine you know you can find it out uh, that here now this is how you can connect this is how you can configure your mcp server in in uh, uh, windsurf you can find out here if you want to configure again you can configure it here again you see this configure mcp co underscore config.json and you can uh, add multiple uh, over here as well multiple tools that you can we want to bring it uh, we're going to look at in the upcoming videos that how we can use it through Olama, Wave UI, you know, with open source models and stuff. That's what we're going to do. But I hope you understood how you can configure it through Windsurf and use it, uh, you know, in that IDE to, to do whatever you want to do, depending on what kind of tool you are building, right? So if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.